All right, I'm going to be blunt here, and I hope I don't offend you because that is not my intention. But if you consider yourself a physical silver stacker and you're still being frustrated and getting angry over physical silver's price action and its volatility, then chances are you really don't understand what physical silver is meant to do for you. And if that's the case, I believe I can help you with that. Silver Joker here. Okay, so we're just about three weeks away from the launch of the new and improved Silver Joker channel. There's gonna be some changes. Some things are gonna remain the same. Things that you guys subscribe to my channel for are gonna remain the same, but I've added some things that I think you're really gonna like. Some things that kind of enhance the, um, the interest <laughs> in my channel, the appeal, if you will, of my channel. Uh, but before that, before that, let's talk about this new attitude that I'm seeing kind of permeating through the uh, silver stack community here in YouTube. There's a lot of new stackers, according to the comments that I read on a lot of people's videos, a lot of new content providers here in the silver stack community. And I like that. I watch all of them. Even if I don't leave a comment, I absolutely leave a thumbs up, which reminds me to ask you to do me a small favor. If you will, just scroll down to that thumbs up and hit that thumbs up. What that does, is it lets YouTube know that you are receptive to the content that you're viewing. So YouTube puts this video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And when you've watched as much of this video as you like, and you think you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell, and YouTube will notify you as soon as I post another video, which is coming very shortly. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I'm starting to wit witness a lot of <laughs> negativity, it seems to me, in the YouTube stock community when it comes to silver's value, what is perceived as silver's value. And I just want to tell you guys, there's going to be a lot more of what I'm about to talk to you guys now about in upcoming videos. But I want to say this. I think that a lot of that negativity comes from people not understanding exactly what silver is meant to do for you. I think a lot of people are expecting silver to do the impossible, what it's not designed to do and therefore cannot do. And that is be a active investment, which means it's returning you some income. And now look, if silver returns you a profit, which if I was to sell some of the silver I bought years ago, I would absolutely make a profit from, but that's not what it's designed to do. What silver is designed to do is to protect your hard earned wealth. That's what silver is designed to do. And let me tell you guys real briefly how that works or kind of a roundabout way that works. It costs money to go and find physical silver. It costs money to bring that silver out of the ground. It costs money to refine that silver. In other words, take out all the impurities. And then it costs money to mint that silver into the products that we purchase, physical silver, into the products that we purchase. Now, every step along that way is costing something to get to each one of those stages. And as we go forward, as inflation increases, as it absolutely will, and that dollar loses purchasing power as it absolutely will, then it's gonna cost more at each one of those stages to produce that ounce of silver. So naturally, what it costs to produce an ounce of silver today is gonna cost more to produce that same ounce in the future, therefore raising the price of that ounce of silver and its value monetarily. So as the dollar loses value, silver is gaining value. Now here's exactly how that's gonna work for you in the form of a hedge against inflation. In the future, it's gonna take more dollars to buy what it costs today. So if I buy something today, 
that I can get for two bucks, it's gonna cost me 275, maybe three bucks in the future. What silver does, by buying it now, it's gonna give you access to more of those inflated dollars. So let's be real about something. We're absolutely gonna need fiat dollars. As much as we rail against them, which is well-deserved on their part, we're gonna need them until your local grocery store takes physical silver, until your gas station takes physical silver, until you can pay your bills with physical silver, we're gonna need those fiat dollars. And so at some point, you're gonna to have to convert your physical metals into fiat currency. By buying physical silver now, you have access to more of those inflated dollars. And if it costs more dollars in the future to buy what it costs today, then you're gonna need access to more of those dollars. And that's what buying physical silver and stacking it now will provide you access to more of those dollars. It's as simple as that. And we'll talk more about this as we go forward. And you'll see that stacking physical silver is a hedge against inflation. And this is one of those ways. Silver is not designed to be a medium of exchange, not right now. Now, I'm not stacking because I think the economy is gonna collapse. I'm not stacking because I believe that I'm gonna need my silver to barter with. All those things may happen, but that's not why I stack. I stack silver because I want to have that hedge against future inflation. I wanna be able to go to my stack when I'm ready to use it and take out as many ounces as I need to do the things that I wanna do with the fiat currency that it's gonna give me access to. That's what silver is meant to do, physical silver is meant to do. It's not meant to make you rich, it's not meant to even return you a profit. It's meant to protect your buying power by giving you access to more of those fiat dollars. That's it in a nutshell. Now we're gonna talk more about that in the future. We're gonna talk more about how physical silver is a hedge against inflation and how stacking it now can really benefit you and protect your future buying power and therefore your financial health going forward. But we're also going to talk about the history, the fascinating history and the allure, the attraction that we have to physical metals, specifically physical silver, how that's shaped our society and our commerce, our economy. And it's fascinating. The research that I've done to produce these videos that I'm going to share with you guys about where silver has been, how we have reacted to it, how civilizations have been built on specifically physical silver, and I'm going to share a lot of that with you guys, but we're also going to keep it real about physical silver, what it's meant to do and what is reality and what is fantasy about physical silver, what it's meant to do. We're going to get into all of that and that's coming very shortly and I'm excited about sharing that with you guys. But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to come and share that with you guys because I see that. I see it all the time where people are expecting silver to do something it's not designed to do and therefore it becomes negative. But if you really focus on what physical silver is meant to do for you, what it can do for you, then I think a lot of attitudes will change towards physical silver. The people that know buy lots of physical silver. You got countries buying tons and tons of physical silver. You got the very wealthy buying 800,000 silver eagles. And we all know that story. If silver wasn't such a benefit to your overall financial health and protecting your assets, your hard earned wealth, then why would people do it? Why would it be produced? Why would it be offered for sale? Why would so many people be buying it and stacking it? But you have to understand what it's meant to do for you. Some people will just never get it. They'll never really understand what silver is meant to do for them. Some people just won't. And then you got some people that know what physical silver is meant to do but they inflate it to get views, to get subscribers. And that's not a benefit at all because what will happen is you will stack physical silver based on FOMO, based on the anticipation that silver is going to make you rich in the very near future. 
and then you'll be disappointed and then you'll stop stacking silver or worse, start making YouTube content videos here in the Silver Stacking community on all the bad parts and the negativity about stacking physical silver basically because you don't know or don't understand what physical silver is all about. Well, I'm here to try to help you with that and that's what we're gonna do in the very near future. And so anyway, I just wanted to come on, like I said, and just make this video for you guys. You know, the Silver's train is rolling. It may get a new paint job, <laughs> may add a few more conductors, you know, maybe a few more uh, passenger cars, hopefully, but uh, we're still rolling and we're still doing the things that we know we need to do to protect our financial future. And we'll talk a lot more about that in the future. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.